Hi everybody, it's Mayor Betsy back with you tonight for our Facebook Live. Remember yesterday we reminded you that we were taping these a little earlier and then go on at 6 so that we don't step on the President's toes, whose briefings are now at 4.30. I'm going to talk a little bit today about council actions that we're going to take on the declaration, but before I do that, I want to update you with some numbers, just as we've been doing. Our Tarrant County numbers are not in yet, but I do have Fort Worth numbers. We have 195 cases today. That's up from 167 yesterday, and we have seven total deaths, and unfortunately, that's two more overnight. Our hearts go out to their families. Per CDC guidelines, Fort Worth and Tarrant County are now at substantial community spread. And once again, that means that the source of transmission is unknown. So you can help us by staying home, following good CDC guidelines, wash your hands, cough into your sleeve, and try to stay away from people that are sick. And if you're sick, stay home but it underscores the importance of all of us following the rules. So today I want to take a chance to talk to you a little bit about what City Council did and the action that they took in a two o'clock virtual meeting. We voted to extend the stay at home order to April 30th. The new declaration is clearly in line now with the governor's directive to April 30th. We had amended it, but we have to officially adopt it. There are updates that bring us closer in line to the governor's order and to the county's order. Nothing substantial has changed, but we confirmed the April 30th data. Please, if you have questions about whether your business can be open or not, direct them to the governor's website, the Texas Department of Emergency Management list essential businesses, and you can apply to be essential business or not. Know also that we're working hard on your behalf. Every day we talk to the governor staff, or the governor, to the White House and their staff, to our friends at HUD, to Health and Human Services. Along with the county, we are partnered up, and twice a week we have a call with all the local mayors so that we're all on the same page. Everybody is working hard to ensure that Fort Worth and Tarrant County slow the spread of COVID-19. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at Tarrant County's website for all the data, please do. It's really robust and interesting. Go to tarrantcounty.com and you can find it. It's a snapshot of where we are now and where we're going. The hard part is behind us, but is not behind us, but we know there's more to come and it'll be difficult. But I'm confident that with your help, we will get this right. Easter is one of the busiest days of the year, and it's this Sunday. Passover begins tomorrow night for our Jewish friends, and it's a time of family and friends. Take the opportunity to FaceTime with your friends, to get out in your front yard and talk to your neighbors, to listen to your church or your synagogue online, and in some cases, it's drive up. Small limits on the parks. The parks will be, the parking lots at the parks will be closed for Easter weekend. You can go to the park, but you have to practice social distancing and you'll have to walk or ride your bikes to use them. It's a difficult time, but we simply can't have everybody congregating for Easter egg hunts. Do your Easter egg hunts at home. There's nothing more fun than turning the kids loose in your own yard or in your house if it's raining. We'll get through this. JEOC is working hard. I couldn't be more proud of city staff and where they are right now. Thank you all for playing such a vital role in helping us whip COVID-19. Remember, y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home.